Um, the only thing that can change things for the better or for positive is if the truth comes out. That's the only way that'll work. It's the only thing that can happen. I mean, it's not the only thing that can happen, but it, it can only bring good things. It could go bad. They could be using us for a fucking... They are, you know, for a bigger plan that we know nothing about. Um, but can we go longer without talking about these things and, and letting them out? No, probably not. And that's kind of why I remade my videos into this, and I'll probably continue to remake them and uh, replace them while keeping the relevant information about Bernie Mac and all these, these, these people. Apparently, Brittany Murphy, I think, I guess, what, I guess that's what it was, uh, died as a result of all of this, trying to speak out. Um, and they said yeah, Heath Ledger or whatever broke his neck, trying to dance or playing around break dancing in the, the bass. Um, that's really neither here nor there, <clears throat> but if these things happen, then... Uh, it's so far beyond hallucinations and cultural, uh, spiritual iconography and conditioning that regardless of whether there are fucking aliens, this shit is a takeover, period. Um, I guess that's the best way to put it. And then there's two parts of that, which I've basically gone through, realized that I've basically been admitting my programming, my conditioning, my ticks and fucking symbol type fucking actions with the body, um, that shit is fucking crazy, cause I can just, I feel my point of view, I'm trying to make it positive, but the truth is, it's all fucking lies if I'm trying to say that we're just here to fucking, I mean, we're here to love each other still, but that's not what the fuck the only thing is going on, some people are doing crazy shit to the point where it's big. We need to, like, do something. Our future might not exist. Period. Genetics have been fucked with. The health, the health of the planet, the atmosphere, our minds, the aluminum, the chemtrails, the computers that are fucking being built, that are already up and fucking being built. They're been there. Apparently, the whole thing is going down from a black goo nanotech that is sourced from a AI consciousness that basically, literally lives in a fucking Borg cube thing off of the rings of Saturn or some fucking off-world location, and that this whole fucking thing is basically being fucking droned out by this device that sends down genetic material and radio waves, brain waves, to fucking manipulate the ge uh, genetics or the animals or whatever life there is on the planet or in the solar system within this galaxy, I guess, that it's fucking attacking. And our planet must have been next. And, but then it goes deeper because you have to look into where our or origins came from. Which, you know, we gotta really break it down. It could have been, they still could have gone back in time and warped everything, which they've been do doing that. So we gotta look at history and what we think is, is here. And it's like, well, have they, you know, are they going to go back and change that? Or did they add this eye Horus artifact or this, you know, fake alligator god thing? Chances are, they spent the past thousand years going back and forth between time in the bodies of this, you know, 1900s era, using immortality and time travel to spend probably the past thousand years, starting 1950, reorganizing history to the point where our entire history, our entire culture, is 100% conditioning, MK Ultra. We couldn't imagine it. We couldn't believe that people could be a part of our society get the ability to time travel, and then go back in time and reorganize our entire history to the point where they, jumping from timeline to timeline, or space to space, moment to moment, but jumping and not having to live through them, they would see all these different versions, all these different changes as it's one way, then they go back, change it, then they come to the future or wherever, and it's another way, and they keep making layers upon layers of reality, or changes in history to the point where, you know, 2,000 years later or so, we're down in history, and we feel as if our history has always been this way. We grew up looking at the Egyptian symbols in the dollar bill, learning a little bit about ancient Egypt and King Tut, things like that, the way they walked, the mummies, the fucking pyramids. What if those things weren't in history 
essentially at the 1940s and 30s when they figured out this device, the time travel devices, basically through bottlenecking electromagnetic energies, first time Philadelphia experiment around a ship. It's very dangerous and harmful to the people involved because they were just fucking around with shit. They didn't even have a coordinate placed out or a, you know, basically a, a hole held open, a link in space time. So motherfuckers just flew off into hyperspace and apparently later is in like later in like the eighties they had to reopen the, the, the space time grid, I guess, uh, to hyperspace there. And a bunch of people that jumped out of the ship at that point in time when it went back in the sixties or the, the I think it was the sixties or so. Sorry. They reappeared after they gave them, I guess, a location to jump back into, which turned out to be the uh, Montauk, I guess, in the 80s. Uh, it was in New York or something, New Jersey? Not Philadelphia, I guess, I don't know. Um, it, Montauk was in another location, I think Long Island, actually, in New York. Um, so, apparently, yeah, those guys jumped back onto the ship, or jumped back into the area. They basically experienced being in the 60s, jumping off the ship, being in hyperspace, going through a simultaneous, instantaneous eternity, and then popping back out into the, the 80s in their lab, which means they were basically lost in hyperspace for that time, and I'm pretty sure at that point you go wherever your consciousness takes you, similar to the, the Montauk chair, which was essentially the chair would take your consciousness. This is the shit I'm supposed to talk about versus all the other shit I think about and feel about and lovey dovey shit. The fucking Montauk chair takes your consciousness, takes your brain waves. It, uh, I mean, wherever your brain waves go, you're going to feel it. So it takes your brain waves, feeds it into a device that essentially amplifies it thousands of times or something on the actual number, puts it into a satellite dish, an antenna outside high-powered dish and beams your consciousness and the brain waves and electromagnetic form, form of radio waves into fucking space, into deep space, into the edge of fucking time and space. That's what the chair does, and instead of a, a feedback on a screen, somebody can see, see that, but you experience being a fucking wave coming out of the dish, shooting into space, expanding and expanding whatever the fuck that means. You go into time. That's what happened to me. That's what they were doing to other people. I don't know if that's what happened to others in the projects, others that went down into the bases, others that were in the uh, torture programs. I don't know if they were connected directly to the point where the torture program was, like I said, a, uh, a control system for kids that wanted to speak out or got, I guess, cracked or anything. I don't really think it was that. I'm pretty sure Pretty sure it's for other reasons, and it's, the system is like a control system for the uh, the elite over the people. Uh, I haven't really mentioned everything as far as the things that I've seen, but I need to. Mm, I haven't fucking slept, basically, because it kind of just dawned on me. If I'm looking at it in a way where I'm not basically coming down to earth and talking about the most dangerous shit I've seen, then I'm fucking ignoring it. And for the most part, I was fucking ignoring it. Why? I'm not really sure. I'm assuming it's essentially programming. Because I'm not truly afraid. I was kind of like trying to make it better or seem a certain way, and that's not going to fucking help. Um, you know, if it, if it could be a hallucination from these chips, and apparently they don't really need the chips now because the nanofibers in the air, we're all kind of plugged into this grid now. But the chips are probably obviously more controllable, but I imagine if these nanofibers are up and the computer or whatever the fuck it is goes up and people don't know about this shit, I'm pretty sure they're going to be just as controllable as a clone chip body, you know? So it's comforting to know there's not a billion clones, but I don't think that's going to matter at this point. It's going to be the same thing. So the question is, why were we cloned and chipped? You know, why are we experimented on? Who wanted our genetics? Who else is out there involved in this? And what kind of form did they take and what are their intentions? It has to do with aliens and, and the like.